Hello, in this video we're going to learn how to control home lights remotely like this. This, this, and this. So, let's go. Here is the components that we are going to need. We are going to need an IR receiver, aka infrared receiver, its remote, a breadboard, relay, an Arduino Uno, any version of Arduino would do, sockets, bulbs, and don't forget the USB to program the Arduino, plus, last but not least, jumper wires to connect the components to the Arduino. So now let's see how the circuit are hooked up. We can see that we have the bulb connected to the power outlet, but to control it with our remote, we need to use the relay. To connect the light to the relay, we need to cut this positive wire and put it to the relay just like I'm gonna demonstrate. So we need to take this one wire and put it right here. So in case we put it there, this is the normally open, uh, closed, open, which means if the circuit is not connected to the Arduino, the light will be off. And we're gonna take this wire that comes from the outlet and put it into the common on the relay. Then we need to take one wire from the relay, which is the ground, and put it into ground here on the Arduino. We're also gonna take another one, which is the VCC, put it on the five volt on the Arduino. And of course, we're gonna take one wire which is the signal and put it maybe into d9 now we also need to take the er the er or ir which is the infrared remote uh, receiver take its ground put it into the ground on the arduino take its vcc put it onto the vcc on the arduino and we need to take the data onto D11. So this is how the circuit are hooked up. Now let's go to the coding. So first we need to install this library, which is called erremote.h and connect as we seen on the diagram, connect our, uh, our ER receiver onto the, I mean, onto digital pin 11. So we have this library here that helps us to receive, you know, uh, the signal from the remote. We are starting the serial monitor because we need to display some information onto the serial monitor. This is starting or maybe starting the receiver. We also have this little condition here that helps us read the result from the sensor. So this code right here, what it does is it helps us read the values of our uh, when the button on this ER sensor, ER remote is clicked. So let's now see each one of these buttons and its values. Notice that the values come in hexadecimal. So let's now upload these codes onto our Arduino here, I mean on the circuit. You can see now that it's uploading. After done uploading, let's open the serial monitor. So now if I press on one, you're gonna see that we have some kind of hexadecimal values. If I press on two, you can see some other hexadecimal value, which means each button has its corresponding hexadecimal values read by this, uh, you know, ER receiver. So now let's go to the next step. The next step is to take these codes and add something that's gonna help us control the light. Now I'll open here, but first there's something we need to consider. We need to turn these values that we have seen in the serial monitor, like when I press one, like when I press one, we need to take this value and convert it into integers so that we can read those integers and allow 
our remote uh, our remote uh, IR receiver to to uh, to kind of tell the Arduino to turn on the light connected into the relay. So to do that, we need to you know grab this value, go to any website or if you have a calculator that can convert from decimal to from hexadecimal to decimal put the code values that you copied then click on convert if i click on convert you can see that this value is the corresponding for this hexadecimal that we copied from when we click the button one then i'm gonna go back to my codes so i'm gonna do the process for every button that i need so i need uh, to turn on the button one i need to turn on the, the the white light which is this one by clicking on one so i'm taking these values read from uh, this uh, the serial monitor converting it into a decimal and so forth for each button i'm converting it into decimal then i'm gonna go down here so i'm adding you know the library i'm defining the the, the pin where the sensor is connected I'm defining the blue pin, the blue pin for the light, which is blue, and the white one for nine in nine. Then this is the receiving values for the ER receiver. So I'm starting the serial monitor so I can keep track of what's happening. So I'm defining here that the blue pin is an output because yes, a light is an actuator, it's an output. White pin, of course. Then here, we're deciding to know the result. After deciding to know the result, we need to add a switch case, a switch case which is going to help us judge when, which and what button was clicked. So if the button one was clicked, I need the light to be high. And if the, the case here, this is more like the case one because we know this is the value, the decimal value of the hexadecimal corresponding to one then i'll have the light high then break because this is you know the syntax for the switch case now the case where the button 2 is clicked i need the the blue pin to be low and so forth now let's hit upload and so uh, this ir receive here that resume is you know to kind of get the sensor ready to read the next value so now let's hit upload and go to the testing phase oops oops sorry i need to choose maybe let me close the serial monitor right here and go back yes it's well, because it was busy then upload Now let's go to the testing phase. So if you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button and please subscribe to the channel if you like what I do.